it's the iso god sensei the greatest on 2k in existence and look man apparently man there's a lot of 2k24 ratings ronnie 2k is very upset by this people are saying they don't want affiliations in 2k but before we get into all that y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you new, man help me hit 274k.6 we like 60 away and make sure y'all like the video man it helps young swan grow now firstly basketball forever is going crazy okay five players have tied highest rating 97 overall in nba 2k24 lebron Giannis, the joker luca and mb okay this hoe got one million impressions right everyone commenting under this thinks this is real everyone like literally this shows you that the casual is a bot <laughs> The casual is a bot NPC and they should not be taken seriously, man. They're like kids. You just gonna you just gonna let the kid just run his whole life? You think he knows better? His brain not even fully developed. And this is how it works for casuals at 2K, bro. These guys cannot even tell that this is not real. Okay? You can literally look. I'm telling you, almost all the comments, the quotes everyone's saying it's so real maybe some people started to notice later on once ronnie tweeted i'm gonna show you that but it's like they can't tell <laughs> in pc so like would people be advocating that let's make it for like you know like you're tripping casuals don't know what's good for them i know what's good for them so look, even tweeted this hoe out. Look at him, going crazy for the interactions. Go crazy, basketball forever. Players with a higher rating on NBA 2K24 than Jamal Murray. Okay, he knows it's gonna cause controversy. Homie just won a title, just came back. SP's, you know, best comeback player of the year. And uh, Jamal Murray actually tweeted this. Get out. And then, and then he said, these players are higher rated than him. This is gonna bring up hella interaction look look you read this you read this they can't even tell this is why the npc's opinion should not be taken so serious you know you could be nice to them all that but they're bots they don't understand they don't know what's going on they don't have the intellectual fortitude to even be able to tell to decipher they just see you know or they're just not that invested which then again they have a lot of ignorance so ronnie 2k tweets out they're all fake this time of year i can guarantee you you are not an 84 going into nba 2k24 my boy good to see you yesterday my guy you see jamal murray tweeted this out 3.5 million views let's see what he 6.8 million views look look our core fans know that any rate and you see this early is wrong let us get through the summer league at least so look i want to show y'all something else okay this is one of the goats hold on one through five so look this is one of the goats of the 2k community young cash nasty okay we all know he is a you know he's a, like a casual basically but but it's like you know he he's in the game content all that but like his skill level He's a casual, he's a bot, he's an NPC, NPC. Great guy, great content, you know, he, he don't even focus on all that, trying to be comp. But he has the mind of a casual. He literally plays lockdown, right? Because you know he can't handle that PG stuff. He don't, he don't have the talent for it, which is okay. It's a stupid video game. But listen to his favorite 2Ks, okay? Listen to him, listen. This all proves my point without knowing what's coming next first off we got nba 2k15 i got number two two why would he put 2k15 number two this is such a cheesy arcade da, 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 da. that's not even his play style why when you ask people their favorite 2ks they always seem to be the same type of ones because they enjoyed that gameplay so why are we drifting to different type of gameplay NBA live gameplay that doesn't make sense 
Yeah. yeah. That's a classic 2K right yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. And by the way, uh, shout out to whoever did this interview or whatever, but this is kind of dumb. Uh, you should have like showed him all the answers and then had him sort them because I'm sure he's going like, it's going to uh, get a little confusing. Next up, we got NBA 2K12. 2K12. Oh, five? I, yeah, five. And y'all let me know y'all's five out of this too. You ain't really mess with it like that? I ain't really mess with it like that, man. Uh, I ain't really like it till like my team drop. Next up, we got NBA 2K19. 2K19. Uh, that's about my prime years in there, man. <laughs> I got number three. Number three. three. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Next up, we got NBA 2K16. Number one. Why does everyone say 2K16 is their favorite 2K, but we're not making a video game gameplay that resembles 2K16? What sense does that make? 16 had unlimited stamina and the greatest defense in any 2K and some of the most, what do they call it, cheesy moves? It was very shifty and smooth and the reaction system, it was just immaculate, right? But the defense could keep up. Now we, we're playing a game that has adrenaline bars, super low stamina. That's nothing like 16. How, why are you making a game that's the complete opposite? The shooting way easier now, it's just, it's crazy. Oh, like, it don't make sense, but they think Y'all casuals won a game with no defense in it. That's why they're making these 2K. Devs have already admitted they're making it for the casual. They think this is what y'all want. They think y'all want a game with no defense in it. They think y'all want a super slow game. That's what they think. That's crazy, right? Ooh, okay. Number one. That's the go to get right there. Last, we got NBA 2K22. Four. Four. Okay, so this is his list. So y'all y'all know I always be advocating for the golden era, but it's like, hey, me personally, I would have did 16, 15, 22, 19. Uh, and I, I guess, I mean, I put part 2Ks above that other stuff anyways, but um, 19 probably had the most potential out of any 2K, but it was just so broken that it just destroys it you feel me the stretch bigs the post scores you know that's like some of the only reasons uh like 22s above it bro i don't like that dex and stretch bigs so power <laughs> so power tweets out i hope in 2k24 we have no affiliations we can have multiple parks y'all let me know how y'all feel about this now how do y'all feel about this bro power's crazy to say no affiliations even though they serve no purpose and all that Multiple parks is definitely a W, but just make the affiliations matter. Add cool different things and, and stuff. Like, there's no reason to take them out. I don't see why I take them out. I would say, like, make there a benefit or competition that could matter more. But he says, sure, but affiliations without any benefit or competition only serve to divide people dividing people I, I don't know how it's dividing people if you can literally play with any other affiliation it's not like the old 2ks but then he says the game is better when we are united as one community together not split up by names that don't do anything uh i don't think that serves any purpose this ain't no kumbaya you go in game chat, they not talking about no uh, united as one. Y'all be living in fallacies, my boy. But, um... <laughs> man, y'all be tripping, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, bro. Me, personally, like, I already told y'all how I feel about it. How, how they have to do the parks, bro. They have to cut the parks in half. And they have to fill the server number of people. That's, that's what helps people get back-to-back -back games. And they have to make the space seem very small between the courts. Even if a park is full, you're not going to be able to get back-to-back -back games because there's so many courts and the people allowed in that server is so little. So what they got to do is cut the courts down. Even if they keep the number the same, at least cut the courts down in half. Then people can get way more back-to-back -back games and it can have that old, you know, that old feeling, uh, a lot of people, they're not stressing this uh, type of stuff. This is a major thing. Uh, when I play 2K, it's very hard and annoying because I have to keep chasing every single game. I can't just streak, you know, it's it ruins the game.
Like, damn, you win three games in a row, people just stop coming. Like, that shit is lame. But if they're, like, already in a park and, like, they'll wait and stuff, it'll it'll be more lit. But, yeah, man, y'all check out my other 2K24 videos. But, hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now, break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.